What is biomarker testing and why is it critical for those who have metastatic breast cancer? Here to help us understand, Gene Sachs, CEO of Living Beyond Breast Cancer and Megan O'Neill, metastatic breast cancer patient advocate. Good morning to the two of you. Hello. Good morning. Gene, I'm going to begin with you. Help us kind of uh, understand some of the terms here. Metastatic breast cancer, what does that mean? That diagnosis mean to a patient? And how does biomarker testing become critical? Yeah, great question. So metastatic breast cancer is breast cancer that has spread beyond the breast and has moved to another part of the body and often to a vital organ. Once you are diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, also known as stage four, it is considered an incurable disease, but with new treatments, many, many women um, can live well with good quality of life for many years, but they will be on treatment. So that's kind of where biomarker testing comes into play because once you're, once you're diagnosed, you wanna learn as much as you can about your specific cancer and what biomarker testing will do, whether it's a tissue biopsy or a liquid biopsy, a blood test, is find out more about what what is your tumor made up of, what's driving the cancer, what might be making the cancer resistant to treatment. And this could lead to a new treatment that's more targeted, hopefully less, to less toxic and more effective. So biomarker testing is really important. It's really the future of how we treat cancer. And we do really wanna make sure metastatic breast cancer patients understand that. Well, Jean, is it not routine? That test is not routine? So, you know, the science is changing quickly. And I would say many, many metastatic breast cancer patients are getting the test, but we do know that many are not. Or they might be getting it, but their doctor might not be sharing that with them. So they might not know the information they learned. Um, it's also not mandated to be covered by insurance or Medicare right now. So while it's usually covered, um, it's not always covered. So we have to make sure that happens as well. Thank you so much for explaining that. Megan, tell us about sure. the questions that uh, cancer patients should be asking their doctors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many tests that are done. Um, it's just important um, just to reiterate what Jean said, um, ask about tests that have been done on your cancer previously in regards to biomarker testing. Um, ask for tests to be done if you find out that there haven't been tests done. And then to ask after you get those results back, how do these results change, you know, my next line of treatment. With metastatic disease, you're always worried about your quality of life with, with treatments and you're also worried about what treatment is next and are there treatments available for me? Um, so these uh, mutations, I found out recently when I did this testing that I have a pic 3 ca mutation and that will possibly change the course of my treatment because it might mean that certain treatments work better or worse for me. It might also open me up for certain clinical trials as well. So that can be another part of the conversation. Thank you, Megan. Uh, Jean, tell us a bit about the No One Missed campaign and the, the 30 seconds we have left. Sure, so No One Missed campaign is really designed to raise awareness about biomarker testing. As you can tell from our conversation, it is complicated. There is a website, no one missed slash breastcancer.org, where you can learn a lot more and download discussion guides and questions you should ask your doctor. We just really want metastatic patients to be informed and to ask their doctor, have I had biomarker testing? Ladies, I want to thank you so much for this life-saving information. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. thank you. And we'll have more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.